So this is a bit abstract. This is a bit abstract here. So you need to observe some patterns and you also may need a periodic table. So this is a chemical company. Then in this chemical company, the chemical company, the substances are referred to by codes instead of their chemical names. So then there's this table down there that shows how the codes are being used for certain substances. So then by using the periodic table, it deals how the company derives the codes for each substance. So if you don't have any ideas, you can take out a periodic table and look at the periodic table. Can you help? Yes. Okay, you look at lithium and look at chlorine on the periodic table. What do you see? So we go to the periodic table, then we have lithium, then we have chlorine. So you will see two numbers on lithium and two numbers on chlorine. Right? It's the proton number. So proton number three, chlorine 17. You saw that, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So, does it coincide with the numbers here on the code? Mm -hmm. Yes, right? So, what can you say about this first number and what is the second number? It is the atomic number. There were three, and this this one is the same, right? So this is the proton number of lithium. Then, something. Proton number of chlorine. Okay. Of chlorine. Okay. So then. The same thing, go look up magnesium and then fluorine and you let me know what are the numbers on top. What? Magnesium is how much? 12. 12. The proton number is 12. Fluorine? Nine. Nine. Okay, so then we come to our code again. Look at the code. What is this? And what is this? And what is this? Proton number of magnesium. The proton number of fluorine and the number of fluorine atoms. Mm, good. Okay, so let's double confirm with aluminium oxide. So aluminium oxide has a proton number of how much? For, for aluminium, it's 13. For oxygen, it's 8. Mm. So then, this is the proton number of aluminium, proton number of oxygen. This one is the number of aluminium atom, and this is the number of oxygen atom as what you said in part two. So your conclusion is, your whatever you suggested is correct, right? Can I say that your suggestion is correct? Yeah. Mm. So now you got the rationale, everything is correct. So now we have to put it in words. So how are, how are we going to put this in words? 
coordinate is can be deduced by the proton number. You deduce the the codes represent the what? The proton number. The proton of number the of the element present then the, the codes represent the proton number of the elements present some more In the compound. Some more? Present in the compound. Mm -hmm. Other than that, there are th actually three things that, there are three conclusions that we can make from this. You gave me the two already. So then down here, I wrote one that says, you, you say that it represents the proton number of the elements present and some more. Then the brackets, what does the bracket do? Represent the number of atoms of the elements. Number of atoms of an element that is present. Then, some more? Look at the arrangement. So for something like this, three represents the first element. And 17 represents the second. Something like that, right? Something like that. Okay, so are we clear? Do you need to take down something? So second one. Now you are going to give me the names, give me the formula, give me the code. We will start with this one. Nitrite. How do I spell the nitrite? N I T I R I D. R I D E. Then this one. If you have a bracket three for the code. Sorry? 11 bracket 3. 11 bracket 3. Comma. 7. Okay, I have to check. Let me look up the POI keyword. 7. 11. 11. Yeah, right. Next one? Imagine me if that was starting straight. How do I spell sulfate? S-U-L-F-A-T-E. Okay. 
than the code. Well, six, seven, eight, mm -hmm. break and four. Sixteen eight bracket four. Okay, then the formula for this one on top. O two. What O two? C O two. Okay, yeah, good to go. Now, now to do the electronic structure, and you'll probably need some diagrams. So they are atoms, so you have to give me the electronic structure. Then you can give me the whatever the two dot x dot x that 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 one for me, then I can draw it for you. Tell him it's two eight two eight. Two eight two eight. Two eight two eight. Like that? Two eight eight two. Two eight eight two. Two eight eight two. So two eight eight two means first shell I have how many electrons? Two. Two. Then second shell? Eight. Third shell. Third shell also eight. Then because there are four numbers, so four shells. Two. Four shell and two. Hmm. Okay, my argon wrong wrong number. Argon is eighteen. Argon atomic number is eighteen. Two eight eight. Two eight eight. First shell. Two. Second shell. Two eight. again. Okay. Eight. Third shell. Eight. eight. Okay. No problem. The table below shows electronic structures of six elements again. A, B, C, D, E, F. They got these numbers. Then they're supposed to fill in the blank. So there are four questions there. So give the letters of two unreactive and monoatomic elements. Okay, you have a look first, then you decide, then you let me know. Okay, 5A. A, A, F, C. Hmm? Question, question A. Two unreactive and monoatomic elements. Let's see. A and C. A and C, you say. Okay, next. Question B. A. 
and mm -hmm. A and okay, next one. Let's see. A and B. A and part C. A and what? D. A and D. Okay, last one. You can annotate by typing. There's a there's a text here. You you click on annotate. Click on annotate. There is one whole row. You have mouse select text draw. There's such a thing. You can type. Then you can erase later. Yeah. Okay, so now my turn. Okay, so first one, we go to part A again. They say two unreactive and monoatomic elements. So if you go to your periodic table, this bunch of elements are actually the noble gases. Because they say unreactive and monoatomic. Unreactive gases are, mono, uh, are the mono, noble gases. So then from the from this part, right, you have to pick out which ones are noble gases. B and E and E and E, yeah. Then question B say a group one metal. Group one metals, so you went to pick this one, which is one here. So can you tell look up the periodic table and tell me which one is element A? Electron, electronic hydrogen. hydrogen. So, is it correct that okay? Should we pick hydrogen as our group one metal? Mm. No. Mm. What is C actually? Mm. C is an element. Okay, then part C, I haven't checked the answer. A is hydrogen, D is, it is oxygen, yeah. So yes, hydrogen, oxygen gives you water. Then an element using three electron shell, your answer is correct. 